Welcome everybody to WTL Where's the Line, Nebraska's first and only sports betting show. I'm your host, Andy Class, and joined by Jabron. Oh, <laughs> far lay pounder. You got it. We're back. Mm, and you know what time it is. Yeah. It's time to talk college football. Let's go. We got some interesting betting lines across the Big Ten. We're yeah. getting right into the meat of that lineup, right? Yeah. Seen some really good matchups here. Everybody's in mid-season form, I guess. We'll see. Yeah, I guess. Uh, so let's start with um, uh, an intriguing one that a lot of folks around here either like them, love them, hate them. Yeah. And uh, that is the Iowa Hawkeyes mm-hmm. heading on over to the Horseshoe to take on the third-ranked Buckeyes of Ohio State, who are sitting at four and zero. Oh, Iowa three and one. Iowa is also a twenty and a half point underdog. Yeah, Andy, if you can get this under three touchdowns, do it. It's going to get bet over three touchdowns by the time this hit kicks off on Saturday. It opened at twenty three and a half. Exactly, and they got bet down because of Iowa's stellar defense, quote unquote, stellar defense. Okay, and uh, it's going to get it's going to get bet back up over three touchdowns. So if yeah. you can get it at twenty and a half, you know, nineteen and a half, you can still get it some places. Do it now because it's going to get bet Whoa. over three touchdowns. I still think you're probably going to be safe because I think Ohio State is going to blow them out, but under three touchdowns. <laughs> Is whoa, whoa, a very whoa, whoa. good bet. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah. ESPN Analytics only has Ohio State. They're only giving them an 89.7 <laughs> chance of winning this game. That's a very good now, uh, percentage. It, it doesn't say anything about three touchdowns, yeah. though. No. But I, I like that, too. If you can get it under 21. Yeah. And right Do now, it. right now, it on is. Penn or ESPN bet, it's at 20 and a half. Uh, you got to like the, the Buckeyes right here. They just like to flex. They really like to show off it across the Big Ten. And they got the weapons to do it once again. Will Howard, this guy. Yeah. yeah it's so ridiculous. So they can just pluck a guy like that from Kansas State. Yeah. Eight touchdowns, two picks, unbelievable numbers, already over 1,000 yards passing. Yeah. What more do you need to see? They're worried about chemistry. No, no, no. No, 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 no. 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 Already have it. I, and just the Hawkeyes' lack of offensive firepower is going to be very hard and tough to uh, hard and tough to hang around in this matchup. The re, their run defense is strong, but the Hawkeyes will continue to contain the receiving court. Uh, and, and Jeremiah Smith looks like one of the best receivers in the nation, he obviously. He only has five touchdowns so far. He <laughs> exactly. He only, only has five touchdowns so far. The Buckeyes are 13-3-1 against the spread in their last 17 games played in October. And this is going to be number 14. All right, fine. You talked me into it. I'm going to take that <laughs> minus 1,600 money line on Ohio State. Do it. Good parlay piece. <laughs> is that what, it, that, that's what we're going to reserve? No, uh, they're going to cover this. <laughs> Get it under three touchdowns. You feel very safe about it. What about the 44 and a half total? Yeah, I think uh, Ohio State might get 45 points by themselves. Uh, hmm. Yeah, so take the over. Well, you, you actually make a pretty good point here. So they scored 52 against Akron, 56 against Western Michigan, 49 against Marshall, and 38 against Michigan State, 38-7. to seven. Yeah. Yeah, they might score 40 themselves. I think they're going to score 40, and I think Iowa is good for nine points. So Come on, I, Iowa. I think they're going to be able to do it. Uh, I'd take the over, but the hey. safest bet of my week is Ohio State by Three touchdowns. Ohio State by three touchdowns. I like that a lot. And Iowa scoring three points. Yeah. Yeah, that's probably about right. Maybe they can st- somehow stumble into the red zone. Three field goals. There you go. Three field goals. They can make them. We hey, can't. There's, there's something to be said for that. So. <laughs> But you're taking me right to where uh, we got to go. I tried. Here we go. FS1 is going to be televising the Nebraska Huskers. Cornhuskers are hosting the Rutgers Scarlet Knight. That is a 3 o'clock kickoff. That I love that afternoon kickoff. Love just it. like that time. Uh, the Rutgers do not sleep at the Scarlet Knights. They are 4-0, 1-0 Undefeated. in the conference. And somehow, someway, the Huskers opened this as a six and a half point favorite. <laughs> it has been bet up to a seven point favorite. Yeah. It's like, come on, betting public. This is Greg <laughs> Shiano 2.0. Yeah. This guy's the real deal. And you're seeing the you're seeing the Scarlet Knights kind of a, a replay of what happened the first time around. Yeah. Like, why are we surprised that he's put together a good football team? It's just kind of what he does, Andy, obviously. And yeah. I think I think they're kind of 
kind of in the same spot as Nebraska is, the same spot Illinois is in, just, you know, kind of in this primordial goo, you know, trying to get <laughs> middle to, of the pack. Yeah, you know, just trying to be a good Big Ten team. Yeah. And I think all three of the teams are really good, you know, middle of the pack Big yeah. Ten schools as right now, and trying to take that next step right. into that. Ohio State, Oregon, Michigan, you know, yeah. trying to get there. Uh this this is uh it's it's hard to say that this is the biggest test for Nebraska, obviously already losing to Illinois. Yeah. I believe it's a very similar game as that. Rutgers mm-hmm. is gonna try mm-hmm. and run the ball. If we can shut down that run, their running back is one of the best in the nation, real yes, sneaky he player here. Yes, he uh and but it, he's I think he's averaging over six yards a carry. If we can bottle up that run, make them pass, I believe we can sneak out this cover. Two words for you. John Bullock. Yeah. That is a run stopper right there. And he's making big Touchdown. plays. Touchdowns. Touchdowns. He's making the pick thought, six. You know, uh, I have that I have that Husker show on New yeah. South Nebraska. And every week we kind of highlight a couple players. And in the preseason, we, we were talking about how Matt Rule, Coach Rules, yeah. uh, was calling out his defense and saying, oh, you're that good? Then, then – Make a fumble, intercept yeah. the ball, score a touchdown. If you're that good, score a touchdown. Yeah, it's turn like, it over, turn it over. It's like, oh my God, they listen to him. Yeah, no, they do. <laughs> yeah, uh, it seems that our defense does make crucial plays. It's just yeah. if our offense can, you know, capitalize on those plays. Can we get a hold? Can uh, can yeah. can we get you know a snap down? Can we kick a field goal? It doesn't seem like we can do that no. right now. No. And I, I don't know if that's going to get any better. Just from this week to last week. Uh, Let me tell you something. Yeah. Statistically speaking, right now, okay, if you just you can't get worse, you can't get worse. But yeah. also, if you just say, "All right, well, if we get in the red zone, uh, we we're know not, you we're, we're not kicking." So, so now it's a, about a, like a forty-four percent chance. Like yeah. that's where we're at. Something like that, where our field goals, we have a forty-four percent chance yeah. to make a field goal. We also have a forty-four percent chance to convert to on fourth down. It. Yeah. Uh, so fine, go for it on fourth down. Uh, roll the dice, try to score <clears throat> touchdowns. Uh, the offense, I like the offense yeah, where they're for at right sure. now. They they move the sure. ball. They move the ball really well between just, the twenties. We get we get hung up just like every other team does yeah. in the red zone, course, especially in the Big Ten. Estate. You run out of real estate. Uh, yeah, Dylan gets you know. It, there's not enough room for him to operate yeah. down there. But I mean, it just seems like if we can get within the 20 yards, we should be able to, you know, get should, should be able to get something uh, to score. I really do like that he, he he's very conscious with the ball, doesn't turn the ball over down there. Yeah. Uh, Jamal Banks is having a huge season already. He finished with five catches, 82 yards, and a touchdown last week. Yep, this yep, kid is a yep. real player. Oh, yeah. I just think that we are a better team than this than this uh, Rutgers team. But More we talented. lost to Illinois in the same fashion. That could happen here. A huge change happened though between Northern Iowa, Illinois, and the Purdue game, yeah. and that is the defense got aggressive once again. For sure, I absolutely love it when that when they're bringing pressures, they're disguising coverages, uh, not just playing this bend, don't break, camp it to. Yeah. That's fine in the NFL when when it's geared for offense to have a heyday, and you're just trying to mitigate damage. Basically, yeah. that's the NFL game. In college, get after it. Pressure breaks, pipes, all those things. And when Nebraska was good last year, that's what they did. Yeah, we were aggressive on the defensive end of the ball because we had to be. Yep, kind of gambling a little bit here and there. But we might have won a couple games we probably shouldn't have. And then when you fall back, like in the Illinois game, into this uh, maximum coverage, you know, keep the quarterback ball up, I don't care who it is. They're going to carve you up. They're going to find the open guy. Yeah. So you can't give them that time. I think uh, the defense played so well against Purdue. they got to do the same against Rutgers here. Yeah. And even the, the you mentioned the running back, and I really like that young man. Uh, already has 600 yards, nearly 600 yards and six touchdowns. For sure. On the season. Uh, but – we're going to bottom up. I think so. Yeah, Andy. And I, I think a lot of people are getting a sidetrack with thinking that Rutgers' defense is just as good as Nebraska's defense. We are only giving up 12.2 points per game, Andy. Uh-huh. And a lot of people are saying, well, Rutgers, they're only giving up 16.3 per game, and their defense is going to you know, going to step up against Nebraska with a struggling offense and yeah, stuff. Yeah. Yeah. They are giving up, Andy. They are doing exactly what you just explained. They're giving up six yards a play. Andy, they Thanks. bend. They bend, yes. and if we can get this running game going against them, that 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 opens up everything yep. for Dylan Raiola, yep. Jamal Banks, Thomas Fedoni, Carter Nelson, all of them. So exactly, I, yes. What you're talking about right there is that the Nebraska Cornhuskers are going to have a lot of opportunities to get the big plays for sure. And they've been re- not. I wouldn't say relying on the big plays, but they've been coming yes. every game. They have a couple of big plays. Barney, the whole the Barney whole Banks getting Banks and Nair yep. involved. I, I really like that point, and I uh, that I'll. 
totally jump on board with that. Nebraska can get some big plays. Turn those big plays into touchdowns. They're going to. That's why I like the Huskers covering here. What about this total? 40 and a half is where it sits right now. Yeah, Andy, I don't know. This is because I don't see the mm. Huskers giving up a lot of points here, Andy. Mm. Uh, if if we give up over 14 points, I think we're in jeopardy of losing this game. One, so uh, d- definitely in jeopardy of covering. Mm-hmm. So I oh, yeah. would back the under. I like this game a little bit of a 24 to 10 kind of game, 34 yeah. points total. I think that's where it's going to be. That's where it's going to land. You know, I, I said it earlier in the week, and I'm going to stick with it. I'm not going to I'm not going to get off of it. I, I made a prediction of 31-21. So Yay! That takes, let's that, go! That takes me to the over. That takes me to the cover. Huskers in a big way. I'm with you. Afternoon, FS1. Come on, Huskers. Get her done. They're 3-1 and one ATS this year. Uh, for sure. 3-1 and one ATS. Illinois, and Illinois, they're this close to covering. Yeah. Uh, just make a field goal. Make a field goal. Or, you know, catch a pass, make the pass. Yeah. You know, it came down to that. And they played not their best football. No. I think that was – but those are the those are the learning, you know, the bell curve, the learning curve you got to go through. you got to go through it. When you're in Nebraska We're 3-1. and one, We're in a good spot. Uh, going to take down a undefeated Big Ten foe. I, think I so. love it. Nebraska so. in a good spot. It's at minus seven right now. I would have loved to get it at six and a half. Yeah, some books uh, still have it, so make sure you check woo! around and, and find it. Uh, a All lot right. of people do still have it at six and a half. Well, then I guess I'll just drive over to Iowa here. Let's and make go. It you know, I got it loaded in my phone, so that- we are good to go. All right, so you like the under, I like the over. Huskers all the way. Yes, sir. Take a minute to recognize one of our fabulous partners, and that is the Nebraska Brewing Company, world class in every glass. Don't go anywhere. This is WTL.